Hello guys and welcome to a video. We'll be playing at deep.io. So let's start. Mouse isn't responding. Okay, there it goes. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. Still not responding. Glitching. Maybe it's why. Okay. Sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. I'm sick. Remember to subscribe and like the video. Let's try to get at least 50 likes. I just have started, so I'm not very good. I don't have very many subscribers. But I hope that I'll be able to grow the channel, which I probably will be able to. Feel free to comment below and ask what you would like to see in my next videos. I guess, just for fun, I'll show you all the tapes. I have done a video on this before, but I did not have any talking, so let's just hold down K. Get max amount. That. There you go. Uh, back. I have to get invincibility real quick. Okay, first let's just upgrade speed and and penetration. And speed. And then the rest will go to the movement speed. So now we're pretty much really overpowered. This is the first one, the tank. If you upgrade it full, you can get it very powerful. Very, you could say it's worth it, but it's kind of a waste of time. Then we have the factory. You can control it by holding down the mouse. See, yeah, it's working. There's a chance of new players to spawn inside of it now. Well, that's pretty cool. I can't remember if I still have auto fire on. Yeah, I think I do. Okay. And then you have the spike, so I'm not gonna upgrade it all, but if you upgrade all the things then it gets really powerful. And you have the auto smasher, it's pretty good. Don't really take damage with it, but maybe it's because I have invincibility on. Then we have the inhilarator. Which is really good. And the use it to move really fast too. If you just plan in the direction. I guess I don't have auto fire on. It was just with the mouse glitching. So it's really powerful. Get auto fire back on the thing. Especially if you're using it to move. It makes you go really fast, especially if you have good speed a lot. I don't have it full, but if you do have it full, it is really fast. I'll put his name at the end of this video, but I have a friend who has also just started YouTube, who has mentioned me in one of his videos, so I guess I'll mention him in one of mine, and I guess I will. We will probably be doing some co-op videos, we have them before, if you've seen our Lava PvP Minecraft video, it's on this channel. Me, my sister, and him all did it together. Although I think she had to quit in the middle of it or something. But, otherwise, it was really fun. Oh yeah, Donna Mayers. We're really overpowered, just sit here and wait. And then just do it. I can't now remember the auto spin command, but if you do that, it also makes it really powerful. And you remember a Donna Mayer. These are, have no upgrades, by the way. 
you can upgrade on a meter sadly, because that would make him too overpowered. This one doesn't look very good, but one hit and it instantly destroys everything. Also, these have like insane amounts of health. And then we'll have an auto trapper. Let's try to get all my stuff back. Go fast. Seems like it took away that didn't have as much stuff. I guess it's just my imagination, but this is insane. The amount of speed shooting out the traps. I'm lagging the game now. And then we have the steam wire. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't use them all. Oh. Steam wire goes insane whenever you have these upgrades. It's impossible to die almost. It's overpowered. Really overpowered. And then this one, I have had the mistake of choosing this one. It's not really useful because it shoots out in a different direction, so it never really hurts anyone except that one die in the middle. Although this one, you could say, is slightly overpowered. And then this one is more overpowered. It's following my mouse, I think. Uh, yeah, it's kind of follows your mouse slightly, but it just attacks everything in sight. And then the auto gunner. There we go, got the mouse working. It's pretty good for overwhelming people. And the little one can attack behind. And there goes all my upgrades, but the landmine. And then the smasher. Just the first one you get, you have to get full level. And then just decide to upgrade. And then we have a tri trapper. I'm trying to do this a little bit faster than normal because eventually bosses will start spawning and they're pretty hard to beat unless I just get the arena closer or a dominator. But they still almost can beat a dominator, so really overpowered. Tri trapper is pretty good. You don't only just have to shoot traps, you can also point them at other people and it does damage pretty well. Especially with these upgrades. And then, the Mega Trapper. This is really overpowered with the reload pool. Look how powerful it is. Instant KO on a blue uh, thing. And then you have these, the Over Trapper. The Overseer is one of my favorite ones, and we'll probably see it soon. And then we have a Gunner Trapper. And then we have this, just the Trapper. We have a sprayer, the um, predator. It's pretty good. The mothership, which is insane, so powerful. Whoa, lag. Also very laggy. And then we have the manager, which is really cool. Can turn invisible. The only problem is if you stop clicking, they go over to you, and that makes it where um, they uh, show your position. Or if you destroy one, then you can see when they, the person makes another, causing it to show their position. So that's the only downfall of them. And then they have the hybrid, which is probably mostly used for speed. You just go. Fast. And then this one's kind of speed, go like that. But this one's its actual booster mode, so you can actually move without moving, just pointing in a direction. That goes way faster if you do this. That's how you can actually avoid arena closures for a while before they get you. And then the ranger, which just has a, it's it's pretty much just the um, sniper. This is a better view. Also, eventually I'm going to have to try how to um, record on the phone. This, if you hold still without following, I have auto fire on, so it's not going to do it, but it is um, visible if you're not firing. And we have this, the gunner. But uh, eventually I'm going to have to try to figure out how to get a good recording system on the phone, and then I'll record me playing Nucleus. I definitely recommend it. It's an awesome game. 
It's kind of a phone version of Agar, just with power ups and more skins. And it is awesome. And then the Hunter. I've used it before. It's not very powerful, but it's pretty cool. And the Triple Twin. Spin around. It's pretty good. Then the Negro is my favorite. One of my favorites in one. It's just so empowered. So I'll just create a huge army real quick. If you're playing with other people in sandbox mode, then you can get even bigger armies. Had that happen before. And the arena closer. Even without upgrades, this instantly destroys anything it touches, including players. It is unfair, practically, but this is how you take out boss take out bosses if you need to. And then the assassin. It's pretty cool. Just gives you a longer range. Then Penta Shot. This one is really cool. This is impossible to like hit someone who has this because it just there's it's everywhere, especially if you kind of wave. Then it makes it work. It's literally everywhere. And then the twin flank. You can't really get attacked by that. The overlord is one of my other favorites. It's just too overpowered. So then you have the Overseer, which is the one I used before I get that one. It's just a slower version of the uh, Overlord. Then the Destroyer, which is really fast, pretty much. The Triangle, which is also a booster. Um, the Flank Guard, which is pretty much just Flank. You have to use it to get better things, but it's not very powerful. Machine Gun, one of the originals. And then the um, Sniper, which is one of the originals also. Um, the Octo Tank, which is really overpowered. You just spin around. If I can find the one that does auto spin. Uh, there you go. Then it gets hard. One of the uh one of the tanks, um, I think it's the Dominators, yeah. The one that shoots traps out, it has an auto spin on, but if you come too close then it gets rid of auto spin and it just starts targeting you by shooting the traps. And otherwise it just shoots traps in a circle. It's pretty. This is triplet, the twin, which is one of the originals. And there you go. I wasn't wrong. Now, I'll get that shout out to the other guy. Okay, so here's his channel. Um, his name is John5835, and he has some pretty cool videos. As you can see, he is subscribed to me, and I'm subscribed to him. He has four videos, or well, maybe more. Yeah, he has a lot of videos so far. He gets on the leaderboard, he's real good at Solid.io. He also uses a microphone. I just started using one because I found out how. Um, he also, um, I think you played Warmax a little bit. He just played this one right here one hour ago. Uh, he is happily not sick anymore. So that's it, folks. Uh, keep watching for more videos uploaded daily. Check out my other ones. Have a nice day. Remember, like and subscribe.